Hi guys, thanks for joining me again today. It's Mitch from Smart PE, and today we're going to be looking at the protocol associated with the one minute press up test. Now, this particular test measures muscular endurance, and the protocol involves an athlete completing as many press ups as they can in one minute. Now, it is really important that the athlete completes the press ups using a full range of movement. Now, the amount of repetitions that they achieve is obviously their final score. Now I'd like you to now apply your knowledge to the data table below and the scenario that we have at the bottom of this slide. I'd like you to read the question and can you work out what rating our 16 year old athlete, our 16 year old female athlete Madison would achieve? As always, is there any useful information you can highlight in the question or is there any useful information that you can highlight in the data table itself? Press pause now and have a go at that particular question. Okay, let's look at the answer that you should have got. So I'm looking for the score that Madison achieved and we know in the question her score was 40. She did 40 repetitions in one minute. Now it's a little bit confusing when you look in the table because we have two 40 scores, don't we? We have 140 in excellent and 140 in above average. Let's look at excellent. That little triangle which is on its side pointing towards 40 actually means greater than 40. So if she gets 40, it's not quite enough to be excellent because that's not greater than 40. If she got 41, she could have got excellent as a rating. As a result of her score being 40, that means that her rating is actually above average. Now feel free to scan the other QR codes to find out more about the protocols associated with other fitness tests.